Hello everyone. Today I will show how to install Orca for Windows 11. So for installing Orca, we have to follow these steps. First, we will download the latest version of Orca. Then we will unzip all part in one directory. And finally, we will set the path of the environment variables. And after that, we can run the Orca from the command prompt. So in the first part, download latest version of Orca. So we are going to download the latest version 5.0.4. So for that, you need to type Orca forum in Google search and open this particular site. So you uh, if you are already registered with that Orca forum, then you can go to the directly uh, download link. Otherwise, you first create your user ID and then come to this page. So click on the download link. Here you can find all the latest and older version of the Orca. So latest version is the Orca 5.0.4. Here you can find the uh, Orca Jump Start Guide or Orca Manual. So, if you want to read the whole procedure and other input structure, then you can go for the Orca Manual. So, we go to the folder Orca 5.0.4. Here is the option for the Linux or windows operating system so for windows operating system your system should be of the 64 bit and this orca version for windows 11 comes in three parts part 1 part 2 part 3 so the first you need to click over all these three links and download the three parts go to the download link and your downloading started then go to the next part that is the part 2 click on the download link then part 3 you can see from here that the sizes of the all these three parts are very large 3.16 GB 2.25 GB and 2.69 GB so you need a proper disk space in your laptop or desktop. Click on this download link. So it depends on your internet speed, how much time it will take for the downloading. So wait for the downloading. After downloading all the three parts, part one, part two, part three, you need to unzip all these three parts. So first you unzip. Now, the second step to copy all the files in one single directory. So this is the file when you unzip uh, part 1, then part 2, these are the files and then part 3. So copy all the files from these three directory to a common directory. So I have already created one directory at my windows c folder with the name of orca so copy all these three uh, parts files in a single directory that is the orca on the c drive so now my this folder have total 138 items which comes from all three parts first second and three now you need to set the path variables so first we will go to the just type here path variable so edit the system environment variables click on the open now click over the environment variables here you will have a variable that is the name of the path and click over the edit button 
so now i have already added uh, orca directly to my the c drive but in your case this c orca directory will not be there so you need to create the new then add this one so you click over new then type c colon slash orca so by doing this you will direct the path for accessing the orca folder then click over the ok button now go directly to the command prompt open command prompt and type the orca and if you type the orca and press the enter you will get the output like this program requires the name of a parameter file as argument if the output is same like this it means your orca is installed successfully otherwise there is a problem so the only process is that copy all the files in one single directory then set the path variable and after that you can run from this uh, orca directory so for running a orca directory you need to create a orca input file so for creating in input orca file uh, you need a avogadro software so suppose we have a uh, molecule first we will create a molecule here and the already selected element is the carbon atom and click over the addressed hydrogen so if i click here it the hydro hydrogen will be already uh, balanced and carbon bonds will satisfy now you can go to the auto optimization tool in fact this geometry is already optimized but still you need to uh, auto optimize it so force field there are multiple force field so in this case we are using only u universal force field then start and wait for the change in the energy so when the change in energy d equals to 0 that means the auto optimization is completed now don't forget to stop this click our stop and then go to the extension and create the orca generate orca input file so here you can define the charge and multiplicity and you can find the uh, write the comment also so that is the methane molecule and you can do three things here single point energy calculation geometry optimization and the frequency calculations uh, uh, there is no need to optimize the geometry as we are starting from the very uh, simple molecule that is the methane so we are going directly to the single point energy then create the or generate the orca input file so create a folder on suppose desktop i will creating a folder here in the name of methane now open this folder and name the file also methane and save it your input or input file is now saved now you have to run this input file so for running this input file again you go to the command prompt first you move to the directory or folder where you save the input file so for that i am going to the desktop we can see that file is here or not so there is a directory that is the methane so cd methane now in, we are in the methane directory again type the directory command so one file is there that is the methane.inp so for running this methane.input file you need to type orca then the name of the input file methane dot 
INP, then space, then the symbol, and give the name of the output file. So methane dot out. Now press the enter key. It will create. There is a processing for uh, output file. So processing is now completed. We can now go to the directory to the folder. So this is the methane folder. Here you have the input file that is the methane.inp then output file so go to the methane output file so go to directly last of that file for checking orca terminated normally that means you have calculated single point energy now you can look for the single point energy here input file single point calculation basis set information number of atoms okay scf seconds initial time iterations how many iterations it is total uh, seven cycles so hamiltonian converges after seven cycles now this is the total scf energy so it is the minus 1093.01324 electron volt so i hope you got how to calculate a single point energy using orca thank you for watching